Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. I'm an educator here at the Children's Museum of Houston and today we are in Constructioneering, which is sponsored by the William Stamps Farish Fund and Occidental Petroleum. It's all about construction, engineering, how to build things and how to design things. And today we are going to be doing an experiment at our earthquake table. And so if you don't know what an earthquake is, very quickly put, it is a release of energy from the Earth's lith lithosphere, which takes the form of seismic activity, and that's what makes the Earth shake. And so what we're going to do is we have a few, few buildings that we're going to test and see how they stand up to an earthquake simulation and how that relates to the Richter scale. So Richter scale is how we measure earthquakes in terms of strength and their magnitude. So basically how much shaking is happening, uh, the higher the number on the Richter scale between one and 10. So I built two towers. We're gonna crank on the earthquake table and we're gonna see what happens because I have no idea which one is going to survive. Hey, so we are a little over 30 seconds away from our earthquake table being active and we are going to monitor our buildings and then we are going to keep track of it on our Richter scale to see how strong of vibrations we're getting from the earthquake table. So the higher the number is, the stronger the magnitude of the earthquake we're doing, which means it'll be a lot harder for these buildings to survive. So we're about 15 seconds away now when it's gonna start low and then it's gonna slowly increase. So I'm really curious about what number, uh, number on the Richter scale is going to cause these buildings to suffer. And here we go. So this is about a two on the Richter scale, which is very minor magnitude. It looks like our tall tower is already starting to crumble. We're about a five right now, and there it goes. This tower is starting to come apart. The structure is not holding up very well. We've jumped to an eight on the Richter scale. This is a very high number on the Richter scale. It would cause very catastrophic damage if it were to happen in real life. And there it is. It looks like my buildings were not strong enough, but if you wanna try something like this at home, I'd really encourage you to build something with Legos, blocks, anything you have lying around and try to put that building through the test. Try to shake the table, try to blow on it. What happens if it's too cold or too hot? All of these things builders and engineers have to think about when they're building a building, all of these natural environments and things that could affect it go into that thought process and that design. So it'd be really cool if you guys can try this at home and see what happens. Once again, my name is Kevin. I'm an educator here at the Children's Museum. Can your mind come out to play?